Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is uh, Friday, December 17th here in Central Ohio in the U.S. I got maybe an inch or two of snow on the ground and dark gray skies overhead. Uh, anyway, first I want to thank you folks in Sweden who who have come back. I, I want to thank you, 49 people who have observed, have been following this this uh, report, this daily, this, uh, this 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 report this week. You know, my plan is to continue to issue it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This is the Friday edition of my COVID-19 analysis for the country of Sweden. I'll be using the data from John Hopkins University. Okay. So let's go and let's take a look and see exactly what's going on. Before I get started, you know, I appreciate all the 27 views, but also the, I also really appreciate even more 27 subscriptions from you folks out there. You know, of course, subscription, subscribing is free. Also, if you, if you would smash that, uh, that like button, that'd be a great deal to me also. So anyway, let's get, let's get started and see exactly what's going on in Sweden, okay? So let's just load some libraries here, first of all. Then let's load some data. All right. And let's just go ahead and plot, uh, plot the uh, daily cases. Daily cases. Okay, let's get rid of this here. Let's do this. Yes. Okay. Let's just, uh, we want to change. Let's just tweak your report a little bit here to make it a little more helpful. Okay, that should be good now. So where do we leave off back up here? Also, I did was just tweak some of the titles and the fields names a little bit, okay? We finished this. Let's go ahead and let's go and take a look at the daily cases here. Okay, here's the daily cases using uh, the LOAS function. So you got a lot of volatility here. Okay, I guess as you probably have something to do with the days in which you reported, maybe. Let's take a little, a little different perspective. It's, this is called a seven day moving average. Okay, and it, and it tends to follow the curve a little more. more volume. You can see you're currently at for the last seven days. So this number here would be the, the average number of cases for the previous seven days. Okay, so the previous seven days you average 6,000 cases per day. Okay. Let's take a look here at the uh, the deaths. You can see the numbers climbing back up here again. Okay. Spike here, spike here. Now it appears to be declining down a little bit. Let's take a look at the seven day average. Pretty much matches the same thing, just a little bit more of a uh, little bit more a little bit more detail. You can see you continue to climb. So once again, for the last seven days, you've averaged about seventy five deaths per day. Okay, let's take a look at some weekly numbers for Sweden now. Okay. So now we now the weekly numbers can actually be a little more helpful sometimes because it gets past some of the uh, some of the uh, 
water, the volatility. So you can see here, last week was your highest, was it was your most cases, most weekly cases so far. The question is, will this, will this week's numbers catch these two here or these two here? Okay, it could you could very well have in the lowest number of cases in the previous four weeks. Look at this. The good news is your deaths haven't caught the spike back here. What's your little one more thing here? Back in April, we had, this was your cases, okay? A low average. Your cases, a low average up to here. Yeah, if you come over here, the deaths are almost twice as much. It's just sort of interesting, okay? Well, if you take a look here, you've, you've, you've been a little bit of a run here. Last week was, was the one of the higher week, was the, was the most number of deaths in a single week for this current spike here. The question is this: Will this? Will you catch these two? You probably, you probably will not catch these two here. So this could be the lowest number of deaths, weekly deaths, in two or three weeks. Okay, let's take a look at the. Uh, okay, so here we go. Monthly cases. You can see you probably will certainly catch the November's monthly cases. Okay. But the good news is you're still well below these two spikes back over here. But you have already passed this November deaths. Okay. So so this is the question. Is this going to be the, the second or third most deaths? Monthly deaths so far. It's remains to be seen. So now now let's compare uh, Sweden to the EU cases and deaths. You can see we're going to, we're going to compare you but the countries that are closest to your, to Sweden's population, so it's nine to 12 million, okay? And you can see those countries are, are uh, Belgium, Czechia, Greece, Sweden, Hungary, and Australia. Let's calculate our second number here. We're also calculating the mortality rate. So that's part of total cases, total deaths. Okay, sorted, so you can see then in terms of total cases, you're now in second place. Okay. With, with a, this is total cases, so there's no time frame involved. Okay. So now let's take a look at uh, total deaths by country. That's sort of interesting. Why did that not work? Huh. Location deaths. EU total. Now that's interesting. Why is that not working? That's interesting. Do you want? So that works. Why wouldn't this work? Let's run this by itself and see what happens. This is just a simple sum function, so I don't understand why it's not working. Hmm. 
We certainly had some deaths there. Huh. What could be wrong? But this is fine. I'm about to think about that, honestly. Total death to the cases. So you can see cases. But death doesn't show anything, does it? Interesting. Total cases by day. Okay, so this is just a continuation yesterday. As you can see Sweden here, you had a spike in deaths, the highest number of you may, you may have to, your spike in back in uh, November may be the highest, the second highest number after Chechia. Okay? Deaths by day. Okay? You kind of compare yourselves visually to, other, to these other countries. This says countries by total mortality rate. Will this work also? Okay, that, the trouble is that's. That's the problem back up here. Okay. So, but we, I'm going to come back and uh, think about that, this number back up here, because the EU number is okay. And it worked yesterday also. <laughs> so I don't understand how come we're not getting any numbers at all for could we say could we say Okay, so what's the overall picture in that case? Not particularly good. I mean, obviously, cases and deaths are continuing to decline. Uh, okay. Okay, let's try this from the top and see exactly what happens here. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay. You can see the increasing cases here. Increasing deaths. It's a lot of volatility. And we follow this here. Okay. And increase, again, cases, deaths are increasing. Weekly deaths, as you can see, the last week was the biggest spike so far. Of deaths, well, last week was the most deaths during this little time frame right here. Monthly cases, uh, December's cases will certainly catch November's cases. And uh, December's deaths have already passed November deaths. And this, this is the total cases by country. But, uh, as you can see here again, the population range. Mm -hmm. And this one's not working. I'm not quite sure why yet. Okay, and here you go. Now you can see once again, we can compare. Total cases by day, Sweden. Okay. Sweden looks like it's had the second most cases since Chech in Chechnya with uh, first or second most cases. Deaths. Sweden. It looks as if Chechnya and Belgium had the most cases out of these six countries here also. And that doesn't work for some reason. So i got to fix that off. But anyway, so that concludes your report for today's for Sweden. In group one, let's see. Sweden, that concludes your report for today. Again, I want to thank all 49 of you folks who, who, who follow this, this report. I'll continue to provide it to you on a, on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays. And again, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to click that subscribe button, okay? Thanks so much for your time. We'll catch you on your next report.